Sports only. There's no games. The price you see is the price you pay. We have the hottest lineup and lowest rate financing. And all backed by our superstar lifetime engine warranty. Go to trucksonly.com. Will it happen? Tonight we are exactly three months away from the deadline to hand in petition signatures to get recreational pot on the November ballot. The group Safer Arizona needs more than 150,000 valid signatures to make it a reality. We checked in on their progress. They won't give us a specific number, but say they're confident they'll reach their goal. New tonight, an in-depth look at cannabis oil. Its use in edibles has been popular now for a while. Yeah, but now cannabis oil beauty products are changing up the way people take care of themselves on a daily basis. ABC 15's Nick Saletti takes a look at how this works. Krista Whiteley started a line of cannabis oil beauty products to help her daughter suffering from eczema. She really spent a lot of her education time being picked on. She was the lizard lady. She, you know, they teased her for how her skin was. The products named after Bella come from marijuana, but don't include the high. The cannabis oil infused items can help with anything from eczema to just de-stressing. Companies like Buy Legal Meds have been making cannabis oil products for a while now. It starts with the CBD oil, which is extracted and mixed, then blended and bottled up to make lotions and tongue drops. I was in the Navy for eight years, and I suffered from anxiety and P mild PTSD. Um, so I was looking for a natural way to uh, help those symptoms. Much like Krista, Joe Vargas got started in the business for personal reasons. Since cannabis oil products are all natural, they're becoming an alternative to prescription medication, which can be addictive. It's been amazing just to give to my friends and their moms and you know everyone who's suffering in pain and see how much better they're feeling so instantly. Nick Saletti, ABC 15, Arizona. So CBD products are legal in Arizona, but on a federal level, they do remain illegal. So before you buy them or think about traveling with them, just make Make sure you know the laws. Developing tonight, the Goodyear Tire Company under fire for some of its motor home tires. The specific tires, the G150 line, 159 line, made from 1996 to 2003. Now, according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, those tires have caused crashes that killed or injured 95 people over the past two decades. It wasn't until an Arizona judge just agreed to unseal the safety records that we were made aware of this. The company says it will fully cooperate cooperate with the investigation. Tonight, more than just bargains to be found at a California Sam's Club. An explosive device detonated at this store in Ontario. Thankfully, everybody's going to be okay. We're told police have one person in custody who may be behind it. The shirt says Team Jesus, but he's not exactly doing the Lord's work right here. Police in Georgia say this guy shot out the window of a cop car and then drove off in his SUV that they hope somebody out there will recognize. It has a light-up Confederate flag on the side. If elected, she'd be sworn to serve, but that doesn't give her power to swear at officers. Stephanie Alvarado, a Nevada state Senate candidate, is accused of failing to pay her restaurant tab inside Sky Harbor. And when a police officer confronted her, she allegedly swore at him several times and tried to land some punches. Now, in addition to missing her flight, she can't even go home. So I have to live in Arizona? During the pendency of this matter, you have to stay here unless another judge changes my order. I don't understand because I have a child and I live in Las Vegas. You're not. She'll be back in court tomorrow morning, at which point she might be allowed to go back home to Nevada. Airplane seats, not known for comfort, but a new design may have you actually wanting that middle seat. A Denver company is working on new airplane seats that are staggered. The middle seat and its armrest a little bit larger, making it easier to have a little bit more elbow room and not feel as constricted with your neighbor. We've used this staggered layout to give a bunch of extra space to the middle seat. We've kept these two seats the same. They're the same normal 18-inch wide seat. This one's 21 inches wide. The seats also weigh less, which could mean lower fare. So everybody wins even without that window seat. All the cowboy hats, the cowgirl boots, and a sea of RVs. It's clear Country Thunder is back. Air 15 over all the action out in Florence. Former American Idol contestant Lauren Elena on the stage earlier tonight. Cole Swindell performing right now. And tomorrow night, Jason Aldean taking the stage for his first outdoor concert since the Las Vegas tragedy.
It's heating up, so we knew this announcement would be coming out soon. We just confirmed tubing season on the Salt River will kick off Saturday, April 28th. That is just about three weeks away. I bet it's real cold on opening day, yeah. isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah but they so. still come back looking like lobsters, yep. don't they? They yep. do. Yep. <laughs> Getting still fried out there. Sun. Wasn't it just Christmas? I mean, yes. what was it already? Thank you. This late in the year. Blink of an eye, you know, before we know it, there's not going to be too many weekend activities to speak of. Everyone's outside. just going to be inside or at the pool. So yep. let's enjoy it this weekend. If we get out there, we have Country Thunder, which you just mentioned, the Phoenix Pride Festival and Phoenix Grand Prix happening at the ISM Raceway. And the forecast looking pretty warm, but it's good. Partly cloudy on Saturday, more sunshine on Sunday. Temperatures running about 10 degrees above normal, but head out early. You'll be fine. And we'll hit those 90s in the afternoon between about 2 and 5 p.m. We also have some breezes. Here's future cast tomorrow, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Things getting up just a little bit breezy in the valley. Winds up to 12 miles per hour. Stronger winds across eastern Arizona, and then they'll pick up even more as we head into Saturday, especially across northern Arizona because we have that storm system that I showed you earlier passing to our north. So windy up there, breezy here in the valley, and there is still a slight chance of a few isolated showers across northern Arizona with this one. We've taken the slight chance out of our valley forecast. It just looks to stay too far to the north now to keep that in. But Flagstaff and mainly north of I-40, as this future cast model shows from the University of Arizona, could see a few little showers popping up Saturday evening, and then we're going to dry things out as we head into Sunday, and that system heads farther to the east. Right now here in the valley, 80 degrees in Phoenix. Humidity is low at just 16 percent. Winds out of the southwest at five miles per hour. And we still have Tempe, Ahwatukee, and Buckeye at 80 as well. Much of the rest of the valley in the 70s. Outlying areas like Apache Junction and Cave Creek already in the 60s. And up to the north right now, 63 in Sedona, 45 in Flagstaff, and 55 degrees in Payson. So here's tonight, no freezes on the map, 35 in Flagstaff, low to mid-40s in Heber and Sholo, 50 in Sedona, and 56 in Kingman. Lows in the 60s out to the west and southwest, and those spots are going right back up into the 90s tomorrow, just like we'll see here in Casa Grande and in Phoenix. Up to the north, Sedona at 81, Flagstaff 66 tomorrow, Heber and Sholo in the 70s, and across the Phoenix metro, we got those lows tonight in the 50s and 60s before those 90s set in tomorrow afternoon. Tempe at 92, one of the hottest valley spots, but we'll see 92 in Ahwatukee and in Avondale as well. Deer Valley at 90 degrees for tomorrow. Overall, outdoor activity is looking good, but hit those trails early. And if you do plan on being outside tomorrow in the middle of the day, you're likely going to want to use that sunscreen. Here's the UV index along with those temperatures by the hour. want to point your attention to 1 o'clock. That's when the UV index goes up to an 8, and that translates to about a 15-minute burn time without sunscreen on. So if you're going to be out there for less than 15, no worries. Anything longer than that, you probably want to layer it on. We're going to be in the 90s with those breezes through Sunday, and then next week we're cranking up that heat even more. Look at those upper 90s now in play by Wednesday. Probably can't hold back the excitement anymore. New details tonight on that Frozen sequel. Yes. <laughs> but first, to look at what's on tap with Jimmy Kimmel, and he has Seth Rogen tonight. Look at what we 